Wait, 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 Hey there, pumpkins and cute me ghosts, it's Moscow here bringing you another video. Today we are going to be reacting to the episode three and four of Over the Garden Wall. So far the series has been very good. I'll be putting a timestamp on screen if you want to uh, skip my waffle because I had a moment where I was like trying to figure this show out and I think I feel miserably. When I was editing the last episode I was sitting thinking to myself right why are these kids lost in the woods and then I read too much into the guy in episode one that said you're more lost than you realize to the kids and then I was like are they in like some sort of purgatory situation or like like the like kind of like the world between the living and the dead like is that why is that where they are right now but then somebody left me a comment <laughs> on one of my community posts saying it's a very wholesome show and i was like there goes that theory then there goes that theory because i was kind of like i don't think that fits anymore probably not where it's going and I probably read far too much into it because then uh, more than what I thought about it because this is what my brain does when I should be sleeping at night. My brain was like oh the big brother's kind of like a douche and hasn't really been taken like not that he's a douche but you're like he's not been being a really good big brother and I was like is that how they died? Did, like did he do something and now he's like in this purgatory trying to like make up for anyway that the the truth is, is that I haven't seen any spoilers, clearly, and I have no idea what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to shut up and watch the show. So today we're reacting to episode 3, uh, School Town Follies, and episode 4, Songs of the Dark Lantern, which is quite nice. Okay, right, let's jump in. Let me bring it up. Here it is. And we're going to click play and get started. Let's fucking go. Okay, so we've taken from the bottom down here now this oval. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Town Follies. She is, but as for where she is, she is where we will go. To Adelaide, to Adelaide. Come on and join the Adelaide parade. No. Adelaide, <laughs> to Adelaide. And Bert, uh, keep moving. But I, I have to, uh, all right. But we have to do something. So she laces and tied, no, that's going to... Really don't. Something's gonna happen there. Do you know what was really funny is that I was just about to comment on how short Greg is in the other scene because he looked like he only came up to his brother, who's called Wart, I believe, uh, his like pelvis. I was <laughs> like, he's really short, but I, it just seems that like the animation style was distorted because of the way they were walking. But anyway, this is fucking cute. We can just keep walking silently, you know? And. Oh. Bert, let's go. Come on. Sorry, sorry. He's trying to tie his shoelaces, man, don't Beatrice. Don't you want to be more like your brother? Just always doing what you're told? Huh? Just a pathetic pushover who relies on others to make all his decisions? Hey, wow. what? I'm not a pushover. Hold on, Wirt. Let me get to my point. <sighs> Fine. See, Greg? No mm. willpower whatsoever. Hmm. You Aww. need to be more like that. But that so he's going to have really to overcome that, that in this episode. The world is a miserable place, Greg. Life isn't fun. <sighs> then I'll do what I need to do, I guess. Thank you. I mean, she's got a point, like, and not in terms of him being a pushover, but in terms of, like, life being miserable. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I don't actually think that. Hey. And if you could pick up the pace a bit, that'd be great, okay? Okay? Hey, where's Greg? Oh, Where did he go? Uh, wandered off, I guess. Cheese and crackers! We need to do our part to make the world a better place! Oh, of course he did. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me? Please, take your seat, children. You're late. You know the rules. Once the bell has rung, class has begun. Oh, sorry, everybody. Sorry. No, he doesn't have a brain. He can't learn anything. Let's go, work. Come on. Here, boy. What? Did oh. you say something? I, I can't hear you because He's I'm too gonna... busy doing what I'm told. What? What are you... No, no. Let's go. Oh, no. See, I'm a pushover. Remember? I have to do what she tells me to do. I'd do that oh. as well. What? Your brother could be in trouble somewhere. I got enough nonsense from that no good, two timing, low down, handsome man of mine. Oh, Jimmy Brown, why did you have to leave me so? And now, with my father threatening to close the school, and that wild gorilla on the loose, why, okay. Jimmy, I just have one thing to say. Okay. A is for the apple that he gave to me, but I found a worm inside. B's for beloved that I called to. Ooh, that lady's got some baggage. What's that? Young man, go to the dance box. Thought he was when he first said hi. 
So my theory is, hot dogs are not actually dogs, regardless of what they teach in school. But you guys don't go to school, huh? Wait, 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 there's one of those little black tortoise things again. What is up with those things? What are they? Are they like little spirits or something? Because it infected in the first one where you had the hound. Ed swallowed the one with the candy on it. Like the dog had obviously went to try and eat the candy that they'd put on the tortoise. And then ate it and then it turned into that big black thing. I'm like, what are these things? But also the animals have clothes on. Okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Stick with the you guys. Looks. <laughs> hey, I got an I idea. wouldn't have done that. Let's play tooled cat. Uh, you found another one. Wait, no, I think that cat is too old. <coughs> Sorry, kitty. We'll have to find another old cat. Hey, Jeffrey, I what think is happening? <laughs> <laughs> There's a gorilla. <laughs> and why? Yes, why is the question that's on my mind? Uh, oh, why? Yeah, that's on my mind too. Why? What is this? Is just what is what is going on right now? What is happening? Uh, this is hurting my brain. Okay. This is dreadful. Good. I'm yes. glad you feel that way. <laughs> I remember that. <gasps> Meal time is this already? like another yeah, tortoise on, situation? Okay. Uh, okay. Oh boy! Meal time. This is way better than being chased by a gorilla. Okay, so this is the first time we're seeing them eat. Oh, what's the matter? I think. Yeah. 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 Mmm. Kind of bland. Oh, potatoes and molasses. If you want some, I'll just ask us the warm and soft like puppies in socks. Filled Is it just a plate of potatoes that he in? Rocks, oh, potatoes and molasses. What is molasses? If you can't see them, put on your glasses. They're shiny and Hold on. I'm looking that up because I have no idea what that is. It doesn't look edible. Refined sugar cane. Okay, so it's like a sugar substitute. Never even heard of it. Oh, because it's got a different name in the UK. Treacle. Right. Okay, I know what treacle is. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I've never even heard of this. What the fuck is that? Treacle, that explains the... That explains why it was, like, struggling to get out of the uh, the bloody bottle. Okay, I know what it is now. We're fine. <laughs> Fucking... Like a fisherman's barge. American you know English. You when you start seeing stars. Oh, potatoes and molasses. So, potatoes, potatoes and treacle? And Molasses for potatoes. Oh, please, Father, don't close the school. It won't happen again. Okay, so I the school is the reason this, that they've all got this and this and are all on. coming with me. Now send him to bed. You heard, Father. Off to bed with you. Ha ha ha. Oh, I just wanted to have fun, change the world, and make it a better place. But I just made everything worse. When are you gonna give this up? Maybe never. Maybe I'll never give this up. <laughs> yeah. I'm liking Wart at more Wart's in right. Never give up. Come on, Wart. Let's go save the day. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> if only something would go right for a change. <sighs> okay, I think he's asleep. Let's go steal really? his stuff. Huh? Huh? Oh, that's clever. Yeah, yeah, that's clever. What is this? It's, like it's a benefit concert for the school. Oh, isn't it grand? Like my Jimmy Brown. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing as Beatrice. Was steal my heart away. Gorilla! Oh, it's a, it's a gorilla. Does the gorilla just want to join the school? Is that why he's there? Or something! Uh, or is it the... Uh, Poor choice thing again. <gasps> oh, it's our ex. Jimmy? That's right, darling. Oh. I was the gorilla. Got a job in the circus so I could finally buy you that wedding ring. But when I got stuck in the dang suit, everybody was too doggone scared to help me out. Oh, Jimmy. Aww. Oh, darling. Yeah! <laughs> 
Yes, the world really is as sweet as potatoes and molasses. Tree oh, potatoes and molasses. Now let him have his fun. Filled with cream yeah. and candy rocks. Hey, Bert. Yeah? Tie your shoe. Hmm? Oh, mm, okay. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cartoon Network logo. Wait, was that the old school Cartoon Network logo? That's a knife from my childhood. We'll just, will we just, will we go straight into the next one? That was cute, weird, interesting. I want to know about the black turtles. Tortoises, they're not turtles. Turtles are the ones in the water. Tortoises, I want to know about them. I wonder if there was one in the second episode and I missed it, I didn't see it on screen. Because there was one in episode one and now there's one in episode three. Hmm. Try and look out for one in episode four. So now we're coming on episode four, Songs of the Dark Lantern. I wonder which oh, uh, circle this one's gonna take. Right, ready? Ah, so now we've jumped back over to the other side. Ooh, skeleton and a rider. It's like a grim reaper. It's got like a scythe. Okay. There's another one! Oh no! The beast is upon me! Shh, Greg, is there a beast out there? a duck. Do you know how to make eggs from a duck? I'm hungry. What about the beast? The beast is upon me! I didn't see any beast. Well, finally some good luck. Let's go to this creepy tavern and ask for some directions. But Sure. Wait, no. <laughs> Even horses well, like It's creepy. Go. Why don't you guys go ask for directions and I'll just wait out. No, wait. I, I don't want to be out here by myself. How about you guys? Just go to the tavern! Okay, but you ask for directions. Fine, yeah, I'll do it's the guy it. from episode I'm one who ran the mill. I'll get some food. Well, at least it has music. Well, hey there, Peach Pot. What you doing around? Hey, what's that bird you got there? It's a. I am Beatrice. These two sweet kids and I got a bit lost in the. <laughs> oh, no birds allowed in my town. Whoa. No birds allowed in your. It's a bad omen when a bluebird enters through your door. It's bad luck. Lady, bluebirds are good luck. We bring joy and happiness to the world. <laughs> Good luck, bad luck. I don't need any of it. Curse <gasps> you, lady. Wow. Curse you. You'll die someday, and I'll laugh. Laugh! Ha 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 ha! Get this. Wow. I am out of here. Wirt, you get directions. W wait, no. I, I don't want to. Just do it! Wow. Who are you two anyway bringing bad luck to my tavern? He's the butcher. I'm the butcher. The baker. Yeah! The midwife. <laughs> the master and apprentice. The tailor. <laughs> and I'm the tavern keeper. Who are you? I'm hungry. I I, I don't know. I don't <gasps> I'm really like hungry. Ladies. I'm just sort of like myself, you know. Maybe he's simple. No, I, I'm just. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> Maybe he's simple. I mean. <laughs> Sorry, Wart. No, what a shame. <laughs> that's brilliant. Oh, that's so good. Did that fox change in the background picture there? Okay, yep. Yeah. Who are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you're, who are you? Where did you come from? Br Cotton Eye Joe. Where did you come from? I'll oh, stop. I'll stop. Just lost. See, we're, we're trying to get to... I'm the highwayman. Okay, good to know. Well, so you see... I'm the highwayman. I make ends meet. Just like any man. Let you off the road. Steal your shoes from off your feet. They're distorting the animation here. It's freaking me out. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Young lover, no. If you really uh, want to get with the satellite gal, I, I don't. I, I mean, well, no, here's I, what you do. Oh. Write a loving letter, boy, that swoops and sweeps and curls. Calligraphers are just a thing to help you win your girl. Then you'll need to dress up smart, the tailor's here by chance. What a merry time we'll have upon your wedding day. What? Dear, that took a turn. That was a bit... He's a kid! No, 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 no. You guys, I, I'm not getting married. I'm just trying to find... That pointy cone upon oh, no, your head. Please. You can't be wearing that. Oh. Hmm. If I have to be outside, then those jokers do too. I thought she knew what where to go. Woodsman? 
My bet he knows these woods better than anybody, huh? Hmm. <sighs> All right, horse. Good riddance. Sing, 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 sing. Is he going to be a really good singer? No. My name is Wirt, and his name is no. Greg. We're related because my mom remarried and then gave birth to him with my stepdad. Okay. We're not from around here. Can you all give me some directions today? You're a traveler on a sacred journey. You're the master of your own destiny. Oh my god, these guys are not jobs. I would just leave and take my chance in the fucking woods. One time work fell on a gorilla. Wow. It helped me find this frog. Whoa. Oh, He's enjoying uh, this. I met this helpful woodsman who told us which direction to go to avoid the beast. <gasps> oh, He's made these beasts. They're gonna the be like beast. the Oh, you guys have heard of the beast too? We all know the beast, Pilgrim. He lurks out there in the unknown. What we saw in episode one wasn't the beast name, was it? Better beware. Oh, the beast is out there. Once your will begins to spoil, he'll turn you to a tree of oil and use you in his lantern for to burn. Wait, wait, wait. Lantern? The woodsman was the guy with the weird lantern, not the beast. Hilgram, he who carries the dark lantern must be the beast. What? No, the woodsman's a good guy. He warned us of the beast and told us which direction to go to avoid him. And now you're more lost than ever, huh? Yeah. If I inflate myself, maybe thoughts will happen faster. Okay, so they're making out that the woodsman was the beast. The dark lantern. He did say that each of us have a burden to bear, and then he tapped his lantern and says, This here's mine. Or something. something. It was something along those lines. That I'm trying to remember back to the edit of the episode. But I wondered what he was... But she said that you'll turn, to one of the, you'll turn into one of the trees of oil. And then he carves you up. I wondered why the tree had a face and it looked like it was bleeding. Hmm. I still feel like it's too soon for us to get an answer as to who the beast really is. Because clearly that's a bit one of, the, one of the big overarching stories in this series. So if it's not the dog and it's not the woodsman is it is it that little black tortoise that we're seeing everywhere is that technically the beast okay directions pilgrim you follow that compass inside your heart horse i'm just gonna pretend like i can ride you all right <laughs> i'm gonna pretend like i can ride you Beatrice. he's doing quite well if he can grab something Beatrice. off a handle at the same time oh. another one of those trees <gasps> Beatrice. You're turning into an Adelwood tree. You were the beast all along. What is this? Greg, get Beatrice. What are you doing? Okay, wow. I saw a weird shadow and then stupidly flew into a tree and got knocked out. Oh. Well, we're all right now. Well, it was amazing. So it wasn't him. He sang a song. You were supposed to get directions. I did. We just they're got just playing this fun. off, but there's something bigger happening here. But that would also explain why in episode one it was drawn our attention back to the stick that went under the chair, because it's trying to just in general draw our attention to the wood. So if the wood is made of people, I mean, we have to assume that she's telling the truth. I mean, we have to take the information we've got, right? Hmm. Okay. Fred, before you woke up. Who? Oh, uh, Beatrice, meet Fred the horse. Nice the horse, your acquaintance. You can talk? <laughs> I was, I thought he was it laughing earlier. Like. you're running out of oil, woodsman. Oh. Why not let me take the lantern for a while? Take on, I thought the beast. lantern broke. I fought you for the lantern before, and I'll fight you again. But be sure to keep okay, it lit, or your daughter's flame will go out. Your daughter's? Forever. What? Now. What direction did those children go? You leave those children me! <laughs> Beast! Beast! What? Okay. Okay, I have no fucking clue what I'm talking about. Okay, the beast looks terrifying and also vaguely human-shaped. 
But the light of his daughter is in the lantern? My burden to bear, he said. Something along those lines. Now I need to know what happened. Fucking hell, I've got other things I need to react to, but now I'm like super invested in this. Like, the show does like these stupid little things in the episodes where it's like, oh, look how cute, fluffy, na 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 na, and then it's like, but plot! <laughs> like, and it slams plot into you at points, and it's really disorientating because when the plot slams into you, it's like running into a, a, a fucking wall. And I'm not intelligent enough to work anything out, not really, so. I'm floundering in the dark right now, a bit like we're in Greg. <laughs> well, anyway, if you enjoyed that, please make sure you thumbs up and don't forget to click subscribe because it'll let you know when I put out another reaction of uh, this fantastical, magical, mystical, Halloween-y, autumnal series. And uh, click the notification bell because it will also notify you when I put out new content. But that's all I've got time for today, so I will see you next time with another video. And until then, haste you back, guys. <laughs>